Welcome back, DigiDs. That's right, to another episode of Dead Island 2. I believe this is episode 7 now that we are on. If you remember, in our case, some of you are not aware, for episode 6, we had a nice little long live stream. We streamed for about 3 hours, just under 3 hours, where we continued along with a lot of the storyline of this mission, or of this game in general. So if you feel like you're a little bit left behind between episode 5 and episode what is now 7, you know, missing episode 6, Feel free to go take a look. It should be in the live streams tab or just part of the videos and go take a look. And while you're there, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment, and do all that fun stuff to help the channel grow. We are almost close to 1,000 subscribers. But with that being said, why don't we just go ahead and actually continue along with exactly what we're doing. And I think today is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. Instead of doing like 30 minute episodes and whatnot, I'm going to try to do maybe kind of closer to like an hour long episode and a little bit of a different format. I kind of want to treat it a little bit like a live stream in a sense i kind of want to treat it as though like i'm just i don't know playing casually talking to people and just going along and we just had one of his buddies get completely collapsed through the window and let's see what's up with alex he's probably a little upset about it but getting those gains brother look at him go what kind of weights you got on there oh i can't read them doesn't seem to have any numbers on there but boy he he lifting way to go alex push push come on one more rep one more rep you can do this come on go on, get down get back up you got it, you got it. Yeah, way to go, Alex. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Working out. Well, there we go. He's up, boy. You'll give yourself a hernia. <laughs> Tell him we'll be back. And Moose. You named them. They were my buddies. Ah, of course. When our gym got overrun, we all ran. I always told him to work on their legs. They were too slow. Doddlers, huh? They remember what I did. I know it. They remember nothing. Those rotten skulls are empty. Trust me. So why don't they leave me alone? <laughs> All that sweat, darling. Big zombies go crazy. Or maybe they just like Bud as much as I did. The charmer. But look, if you're that worried, I'll take care of them for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, we always used to hang out at the gym or the lot behind Lenny's. You could look there. If it'll calm you down, I suppose I could. Sure. Well, if we're out there anyway. But yeah, be careful. They're both really built. Up top, anyhow. <laughs> eh, careful's not really my style. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, we're not really too careful. So they skipped leg day, huh? Alex here. Your legs are still looking a little little twiggy, but not bad, not bad. You could use a little bit more work on those as well, buddy. But you're doing your squats. You're doing them right now. <laughs> oh, is this Hayes' side quest? Hello there, Trent. You know, Jeff. One second bud is here, next second no head, so no bud. Man. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Let's get serious, or bud won't be the last of you to lose his head. Oh, we need our guns, a way to, like, defend ourselves. But, hey, you know, you, you could do us a solid. Oh, can I now? The police station out on the beach. We heard gunshots the other night, so we went to the roof to check it out. Some gnarly Alamo. So you want us, shit, or you want me to go do it for you? To hold up there because they were blasting Z's away, but then you know, not then silence. So we tried to radio see if they could like share supplies, but we got dead air. So you know, they're probably Z's now. I mean, we only tried 911, so maybe. Oi, focus. Yeah. Take a breath. I'm on it. Cool, cool. I mean, our primary objective is to be kind of going straight for the main storylines, but, you know, if we come across it, why not? But here I am running through with... What is this? Alright, Danny, shut up. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm sorry. I do get a little tired of hearing them always talk. There's... <sighs> what? What, Danny? Venice. Bit of sightseeing, shopping. Just killing time. And whoever else shows up. Not for most of the lucky survivors of this mess, no. I'll be back on track soon. Don't worry. Yeah, so we are still trying to get to the military guy. If you remember from, you know, episode 6, we're still trying to get there. We went all the way through the sewers, trying to make contact with a guy who's been contacted us up through the radio, saying that if we give him our blood, he can make a vaccine, he can make a cure. I'm going to go ahead and bet it's probably not going to work out that way. Kind of like what Sammy B said. The voice over the radio that says they're going to fix everything never happens. Which, to be fair, yeah, if some person on the radio is like, I can fix all your problems, just come here. I'd be a little skeptical, too. and Never really seems to work out in any other zombie movie or zombie game. 
Kind of going across the rooftops here. I kind of accidentally found this area. Some supplies. Anything else? No, it's a little bit of a collectible. Can it go higher? Not quite. <laughs> I was hoping it's going to. Ooh. The fall damage. Like, look, I know that's a little bit of a drop, but you wouldn't... I mean, I guess it depends on the person. Like, I could drop from that high and be no problem. You know, you just kind of roll with it. But I guess some people might hurt themselves. If you get some 40, 50-year-old man to try to do that, he might just break his ankles. But, you know, if you get some young buck doing it, probably not a problem. How old is Danny? Yeah, yeah, Danny. I mean, Danny looks like she's probably in her, like, late 20s, I would say. Maybe, maybe like, mid-20s. Late 20s, so... I feel like she can make these drops no problem. Lost like half my health just dropping down from that little ledge there. Alright, got that taken care of. Thank you. Moving on. I think I got a little off track. Yeah, here we are. We're right here. So I'm looking for a couple of gym bros, huh? They're probably going to walk out any second now because my objective is kill them all. Which means that, yeah, they're probably going to walk out of these sheds here the second I kill the rest of these. Immune? A spiky walker? Oh. Do they not take bleed damage then? Oh, would you look at that? Because my axe does bleed damage and she does bleed damage, can't take any damage at all. 100% immune. Now, I don't know about you, I don't think some barbed wire would protect you from a sledgehammer for crying out loud. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> What? How is... Now for, the big number. for the big number. Yeah, okay, Danny. Let's go. Okay, you know what? Let's heal up a little bit first. We'll probably find a medkit after this battle. And we do have our fury mode ready. So, let's start the battle. Gym bros who skipped leg day. Are you in there? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, dear. <gasps> is that guy again? Hey. Hey yourself. Believe it or not, you're gonna want to see this. Oh God! I'm not sure I can unsee it, boy. I didn't think that we were gonna see him again. Hey, it's Moose. Oh, oh, yeah. You knew him? No, a friend did. Oh. Big fella, isn't he? Looking for a bodybuilder. Uh, he wasn't human anymore. What is that? Is that his heart? And that's the point. Look at this. Oh God. What is that? Wrong question, my friend. What you should be asking is... What does it do? Huh? Are these not just zombies? I mean, is it kind of like a mutagen type of situation where it's like a mold, like, taking over you bodies? A tiny hammer? Oh, a tiny hammer now. But... Um... <laughs> I'm feeling a little uncomfortable here. <laughs> Wouldn't you know us? Uh, I just remember that I need to go feed my parking meter. <laughs> I need to go feed my parking meter. It's, it's just like in the movies. Watch. Oh my god, he, his brain is still moving. Oh. Jesus, <laughs> It's insane. All this stuff, it does things. I am suddenly a huge fan of stuff yeah. doing things. Yeah. So you just rub it on the tumor and uh, it goes boom? I gotta get back. Down below. If you insist. Great work, Patton. Fucking massive. I'll keep trying stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come by. Well. If you want to. Kraken. Will do. We should go hang out with Patton sometime. Patton's kind of a... Weird day. What? Like yeah, it's a little weird. Dally in a tutu on acid weird. Dally in a tutu on acid weird. I don't... I don't know how to... Work off of that kind of sentence. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. Autophage... Per... Auto? Autophage? Uh, auto page. Auto page. I don't know. Find auto page blueprints as explorer LA and complete quests. Maim zombies by slicing off their limbs to collect auto page tainted zombie parts. Customize your weapons with powerful perks and use the zombies' powers against them. Ooh. So we got more stuff than just. Zombies mutate inside. 
What's next? Wait. Does that mean my insides are Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? Yeah, I don't know about my insides. That we are like half zombie. But what was that sledgehammer? I just, excuse me. No, no, no. I'm not gonna deal with you. Pipe bomb. Thank you. <laughs> also said that we can find zombie parts. We probably need like special zombies, like the shockers, the flaming ones, and whatnot. Maybe these big bulker dudes. Um, that's kind of neat. So we have more than just the incinerator, acid, and electric type of stuff, and bleed, and also more physical damage. So now we're gonna have extra uh, modifiers we can throw on weapons if we get stuff. Or what was that big blue sledgehammer? Four seventeen. Oh my god, my hammer only does three forty-eight and two sixty-four. This one does 220. I think I'm going to get rid of... Let's get rid of the caustic and throw on the blue one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this might actually be where the side quest is, right? So let's go ahead and do this real quick while we're just going by. Not the Ravage Age, uh, Cold Pork. Break into the police station on the beach. This should be the police station. Walking into a station willingly. A first time for everything. Oh god, it's in Buster. No, no, no. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Yeah, I ain't going to be dealing with that. Oh, I probably should have saved it for the field canister. Oh god, this one is strong. They are really striking for it. This might be a good chance to activate the fury mode. Never mind, I regret it. <laughs> they all blew up. I just activated to start maiming them through and everyone just blows up. I'm sure that'll put itself out. <laughs> you know, I was gonna add a meme right there of that <laughs> stupid, like, explosion that happens in the background, but that'll do. <laughs> that saves me some editing work. <laughs> It'll do its own explosion. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Perfect timing. It saves me some time. Oh, don't bother. Don't bother. Go back to sleep. Yeah, there we go. Night, night. So what do we have here? It's a maglock. Oh. Come on, come on. Stay away. You know, let's not even waste it. Let's just kick him to death. Again, I suppose. They're already dead. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Anything in the bathroom? No, not really. So, it's a maglock, huh? Yeah, you know, all police stations just keep their circuit breaker to their security doors in the bathroom. I love it when they design buildings like that. This goes through... Can I hit it from here? Yeah, kind of. Here we go. Hello? I'm so, so cobra this time, officer. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> okay, Danny, we feel like you've been here a couple of times. What do we have in here? Ooh, some keys and a walker waiting for us. Charge it up. Wait for it. There we go. It seems to not want to let you attack them, or at least lock on, until they're fully up. Charging up, and there we go. Got some keys here. What were they? Jail cell O2 key. Noted. Keep an eye out for that. Our Furies collected. Our Furies all the way up. We need to probably use it more, to be honest. I kind of avoid using it. So I feel like I want to save it, right? But there's so many situations they could have been full by now if I just used it. Down on the ground. Hands in the air. <laughs> now do the work. <laughs> okay. And at least now Danny's having a little fun with it. Like, it's okay if there's some dialogue. It's just like, dang, when you're just walking around, there just seems to be, like, the most random dialogue at times. That just seemed to kind of overpower your voice, you know? Locks on locks on locks. Yeah, I see. Everything's locked in this game. You would think in a zombie apocalypse. Like, sure, I guess you would lock a lot of things because you don't want to get bitten by zombies. But I also feel like a lot would also be unlocked. Secure like storage room key. All right. That's the look of the Irish for you. Oh, is that is that she Irish? She's not Aussie. Is she Irish? Five finger discount time. If I've been wrong this entire time, Digitees, is she not Aussie? She's just Irish. And I saw that. Don't worry. Give me a second. I saw. It. We'll get to it in just a second. I want to get that. Um, what do we got all here? Oh, this should keep the blue crab boys and diamonds and furs. There we go. Oh, that's right. Because we came here to find them weapons. But uh. Oh, hello. Yeah, I might just have to use this for myself, boys. I'm sorry. So this can replace my other shotgun, which has, like... My god, this has 300 more damage. A little bit less force, but that's whatever. The fire rate's a lot better. 
The accuracy is better. Magazine's a little bit smaller, but honestly, that is whatever. Just my type, darling. Stick around. Right. Bring the guns back to the blue crab. I don't have to give up my gun, do I? Can I just give them my old gun? So I've got a couple old guns I would love to just give them instead. Oh boy. I'm running back. I'm running back. Got a whole bunch of police officers chasing me. I'm not resisting arrest. It's stop. I did nothing wrong. You won't get me, coppers. Don't use deadly force. I don't have a weapon. I'm wait. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Um, <laughs> this is the wrong time to be bringing out a gun. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> I don't have a weapon. Tries to put weapon away. Pulls out an assault shotgun. Um, there we go. You know I should not be wasting my ammo like this. <laughs> I'm just kind of having fun with it though. Why not? Elliot, don't mind me. And on over. Thank you, boys. You missed out on the fun, though. Oh, they're all gonna pile up for me. Come on, get them. Look at that free XP. Any free loot? A little bit of money. If I see a white van that says safe on it, you know I'm getting in. They might have free candy. One time, one had a free puppy. All right, boys, I got your guns. Make Trent's day. Please don't take my blue gun. What's up? What's up, dude? <laughs> Hope your tickets are in order, because I brought back the whole feckin' gun The whole feckin' show. gun show. <laughs> Sweet. Where'd you find it? Use your head. They're from the police station you were on about. You told me about the mission. Dude, you lifted from a police station? You're crazy, You told man. me to. I'm crazy. It was your feckin' bright idea to go look at Right. Them. I say dumb shit all the time. You know, I, I don't listen to me. Don't you know that place is haunted by zombies? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I stop acting the maggot. You wanted firepower. Now you have it. I'll take my parade at your earliest convenience. Oh, well, thank you very much, Kibutsky. But it's only fair if I trade you for it. So, here. What do you give me? I got it all. I think so. Cold pork, 3,000 XP, 500 money. Brains on the floor, man. I saw Did he at least give me something for it? Okay, I still got my good shotgun. It didn't seem to take away anything, but... Alright. And I got a lot of keys and passes that I don't know. I guess I don't know if they go away after you use them. I suppose not. Um, don't have any fuses. We haven't had fuses in a while. Oh my god, yes. A traitor. Finally. Dear god. I have been waiting forever for this. Okay. We don't need the impactor shotgun. We probably don't even need the sawed off anymore now that we got this better shotgun. The sawed off is kind of nice, but you know, it's, it is. But pistol and Uzi ammo, they use their own ammo types. So I'm going to keep them. Even if I kind of just, I mean, I suppose I don't need it, right? The shotgun and rifle are the primary. I really like the Uzi. I mean, I can get rid of the snub nose or, you know, the heavy revolver. Alright, you know, I'll be right back with you, Digitees, when I have, when I finish the moral complexion that is, what weapons do I want to keep? <laughs> be right back. Alright, and there we go, Digitees. I've fully upgraded a lot of my weapons and sold a whole lot. That's right. So now I'm down to just my rifle, a pistol, my good hammer, a good axe, and my shotgun. And surprisingly, I don't have enough scrap left over to really upgrade anything on my axe. I don't have enough scrap, surprisingly. And some of these take infected flesh, I see, what we were talking about before. Land a critical hit for a chance to trigger an explosion on impact. Ooh. So we want to save for that. We need flammable liquid, blast gland, and infected flesh. Well, it might be kind of worth kind of saving that, but, um, yeah, let's see, whatever we got. So let's go ahead and try out a lot of these weapons, even surprisingly. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of a few of them because, again, I, I did not have enough supplies to even <laughs> modify all of them. But track down Dylan, or Dylon? Dylan. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's Dylan. I need a little bit more scrap, surprisingly. See, I'm going to have to kill some zombies to see if they drop anything for me. Get a couple of the stragglers. Ooh, a riot gear. You might have something. Come on. Come on. Fall down for me. Thank you. Come on, maim you before you get the chance to stand back up. Perfect. And you as well stay back. Nice. That was pretty productive. 
and really no supplies. <laughs> we got an energy drink, but that's really about it. Dylan is oh, all the way on the opposite side, so we need to go 250 meters this way. Not exactly sure how long a meter is. Isn't a meter something like 3.17 feet? I don't know, man. I I'm in freedom land. <laughs> I'm in America. I don't, I don't do meters. I mean, I guess that's not true. We do do meters for a lot, like the metric system for a lot more than you think. You know, usually in like, say I'm trying to get in the aviation. Oh, what is going on? Oh, what is going on? Why is everything blowing up? There's an earthquake going on. The ground is shaking. Oh my God. I'm gonna stand right here where it's safe. Get the pipe bomb going. Come on, blow it up. Perfect. You know, I wouldn't even be bothering with you guys if I didn't need supplies right now. Perfect. I need to stop saying perfect. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to realize that I say perfect and like, there we go, a lot more than I need to. We have a side quest sitting over here. Ooh, but it also shows that we have a fuse location over here as well. This is a weird purple, pink. You know what? This is more of like a magenta. Is it? I guess it's kind of like a magenta. It's like a weird pink. Am I, am I thinking of the wrong color? It's kind of like a hot pink in a sort. There should be a fuse location, but this might not be the area. Break through the boards. Anything in particular? No, not really. Right over here on this side? Ah, here we go. And I just bought three fuses from that trader as well. Oh, we got a couple of firefighters. There we go. I was wondering if they were going to be immune to that. Like, yeah, it's a pipe bomb, but they are wearing a lot of protective armor. So they'd probably be immune to fire damage, I'm assuming, because they are firefighters. Ooh, hello, walker. Walk on through, please. There we go. <laughs> Just take yourself out, would you? Nice. Can I jump over? Yes, I can. Take out the batteries left, no longer electrified. Thank you very much. Never mind. No, okay, yeah, it stopped being electrified. And what do we have here for a weapon? Anything good? A pike. Okay. That's a little bit different. I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense, right? It's 268 damage. Not half bad. You probably would see a lot more spears than you would think. Hello, where did you come from? Um, stay back. Pipe bomb and electric star in the water. Oh, this is actually doing really well. It's gonna get taken out in a second. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty easy. I just got a oversized arm bone. More zombie parts, I suppose. If we want those special zombie parts, we should hunt down those big guys for some of those special ones. Monica, evacuation, bring only what you need. I got a spear. I've got a stick and I'm not afraid to use it. Ooh, propane tanks, go somewhere. Yeah, I'd say they really militarize this. It's just giant stone, like concrete. Are these, I bet they're just big bags full of rocks is what I think they are. Oh, we got a spiky runner. Stay back. Nice, you actually keep some good range with a spear. I mean, naturally. Let's go ahead and blow that up. Please, any second now. There we go. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected. We have a lot of fire going on all of a sudden too. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a pipe bomb not very far. Ooh, that kept bouncing. Charge up an attack. Oh, that is nice. Charge up another one. There we go. <laughs> that is a nice heavy attack. Let's get rid of everyone. Just Never mind. You can just walk into the fire then if you want. Go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop her. It's screamy, but you're about to burn. Oh, it's spiky. I can't use that one because it does bleed damage. Oh, I probably should not have let that screamer scream because now I got all these zombies coming after me. There we go. Pickaxe is pretty effective. Hell yeah. Okay, screw all these. Let's see. Can we get inside this place at all? I imagine it's going to be like a story quest. Too quiet. Yeah, it's probably going to be like a story mission. Okay, let's go on to the actual story quest. Check the lot behind Lenny's. Is this Lenny's? No, that's Brain Freeze. Which, by the way, that's a really nice... <laughs> that's a really nice, what do you call it? Ice Cream Parlor name. Brain Freeze. 
a, a bit a bit generic i suppose but you don't really see any generic names like that you know we have an ice cream parlor and they just right. they just named it after the street it was, it was funny i was just about to name the place but i had to remember not to dox myself like i don't really care if people find out necessarily where i live but who knows maybe one day if i you know i of course plan on continuing to do youtube so if like one day in like two three whatever years and i got several hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> I know, I know, big dreams, big dreams. <laughs> but if I ever get to that point and someone looks back in these past videos and they go, I remember in that past video that he mentioned this one street and location, I bet I can go find him. You know, it's I, I, I was about to mention it. It's, it's named after the street it's on, so mention it would. Oh, crap, I did not mean to start this. <laughs> Never mind, we're going right into this, DigiDs. Dylan! Uh-oh. Oh, blow up on us, blow up. <laughs> that is all oil. I'm sure we can settle this amicably, boy. Okay. No? Then let's get into it, you melter. Oh, right, let's get into it, you melter. Give me what you got. Funny enough, I'm probably just going to, uh, I think I can do, is this going to work? Is this really going to work? Hang on. Hang on. We got pipe bomb, electric star, shuriken, chem bomb, where? Did I never get the suppression? Meat bait, chem bomb, oh, a fire suppression device. Okay, I thought so. Let's go ahead and equip that because I believe this should just, yeah, put them out. <laughs> Blow up for me, please. There we go. Oh, wow, he does a lot of damage back up. Oh, he's not taking a lot of damage either. Oh boy, okay, I gotta be a little bit more careful about all this. It's not gonna be so easy as a rack him up and shoot him up. He's like, I have technology! I don't know if it's doing extra damage by hitting him in the head. Yeah, this is so much easier! <laughs> there we go. Why why bring a pickaxe to a gunfight? Tell Axe if Jim X bodies are dead. Right? I mean, I didn't even get a chance to use my pistol. I've met the bride of Frankenstein and this Dylan Egypt who enjoys being on fire. I guess not end up a hopped out mess like them. Right? And also, I'm. Are, how are you not dead? There we go. That took like five shots to the head. Ooh, what is that? I see a big old special item here. A mace? Okay, okay. Not a prize. But it does mean I can find out what Dylan Innards can do. Oh boy. But we got a mace. How powerful is this going to be? 370? That's not too bad, but I'll try it out. Never got a mace before. Oh, boy. <laughs> it is just a wrecking ball on a stick. Put out that fire, please. Thank you. There's something hiding here, like eh, some good loot. Nothing I'd wear. No, or is it just like a... All right, oh, here we switch. go. Where are you? Something good, something good. Claws. Oh, Wolverine is back, baby. Wolverine is back. What damage do they do? 251? Yeah, let's open up these shutter doors. Uh, we got another safe. Skate thing store safe. Switch. There we go. Hail the conquering badass. How is it going, Walker? Oh, yeah. I missed these babies. Oh, these are so much more effective. They're fast. Well, Alex owes me a few points after that. That's for sure. Yeah, I'd say. Tell X's ex gym buddies, yeah, are dead for good. <laughs> He, I don't know how well he's gonna take this. I mean, I guess he already knew. My legs are jello. I'd say. I'm done. Y you were sitting there working That's out doing nothing. leg lifts for a while. I was very nearly well done. That's just a crime against steak. Riveting conversation, boys. Never imagined I'll need a gun. Really. This weed smoking dope boy who says man all the time. You would imagine he needed a gun? I'm surprised he's even lived, honestly. All right, Alex. It's done. Both of them. Both of them. Both. <sighs> Was it, you know, respectful? Uh, respectful. I don't know about that, buddy. If you call splattering their own dead corpses around Venice respectful, then sure. Yeah. <laughs> if not, well, you might have picked the wrong lass for the job. Told him not to skip leg day. Every Never time. skip leg day. You've got a good head in you. This place you've got here will hold up for a while. 
But why don't you and the boys come with me to the Serling Hotel? Serling Hotel, that's what I was trying to get to. say no to reinforcements, comfy beds, an on-site doctor. Barbed wire, death pits, thousands of zombies? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Maybe some other survivors come past and we can help them out. Yeah, that's probably a little bit smarter. I'll post a glowing review, if you think it'll attract customers. <laughs> nah. So, any tips for getting to the Serling? Get into the big army base on the beach. Oh, the one we just visited. Take a quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower, then follow the signs to the green zone. Grand. Look after yourselves till I see you again, huh? You know, for someone who doesn't want to even consider going to the hotel, you seem to know the exact route needed to get there. <laughs> go, go to the base, look at the tower, look for the green sign, look for the star that points to the left. If the air is pointing a little bit to the degrees of the right, you want to go ahead and head east. But if you've gone east, it's too far because then you want to head to the west. <laughs> All right, skill deck. What did we unlock? Anything necessarily new? Dead on Get the bullet pump to slay zombies and perform counterattacks to build fury. Very nice, very nice. Uh, DD09, distress beeps. What's beeping right now? What's what's beeping? The giant star. Rare melee cremator mod. Oh, is this going to be something good? Let's go ahead and scrap out a couple of these items. As much as the mace sounds cool, I mean, I haven't used it yet, so I guess we'll keep it around. I mean, as it is, our weapons are still looking kind of good. The spear was effective. The claws are good, so let's just repair everything up. And can I add anything? Do I have enough supplies? Yes, I do. I do not. I lied. Dang, yeah, I don't have enough supplies for really any of this. And it's mostly just scrap, surprisingly. I, I need scrap. But some of these other ones, yeah, the unstable critical hit for a chance to expression so we've got another infected flesh we've got a couple more flammable fluid and we need a blast gland still here we go all right i say let's um let's try to do one more mission at least try to get into the militarized zones before we call it so let's go ahead and do that digities you know i am still trying to get i'm trying to do like hour-long episodes now at least for dead island because it is going to take a while to get through all these right we essentially just did one mission and has taken about 30 minutes to uh, about 45 minutes. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this military base real quick. Fun day at the beach for the whole family. Fun day at the beach. Okay, that's exactly where we were looking at before. And now the doors open conveniently. How wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, they're all following me, aren't they? And that's a big guy. Okay, come on over here. I'm gonna lead him on over to the big dude and take out a few of them all at the same time. Come on, come on, come on. Round him up, round him up. Get a train going. And run on by. There we go. Ooh, it even maimed a couple for me. And these claws are really good for maiming as well. Take out a couple of limbs. We have the fire suppression still, which does stun them. I'm gonna actually change that over real quick because I just used all those. May as well. Go to the curveballs. Get rid of the fire suppression or the chem bomb. There we go. <laughs> 1800 damage. It did 1800 damage on the zombie that was further away from the bomb, but it only did 900 to the guy that was standing directly on top of it. I mean, I suppose that they have some like toughness. Oh wow, he's already taking care of it. They have a, a toughness stat as much as we do. And toughness is essentially your defense, which kind of reduces the amount of damage that you take. And that was pretty spot on. We just got shockwave ammo. Found a blueprint and all that. Pretty good. Okay. What do you got for us, military base? Hello? Anyone there? Right. Quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower. There seem to be a lot of, ex like, a lot of explosives laying around for not to have a big fight. Wait, you're telling me that no one comes over here? You got an entire beach. Like, those guys are sitting right over there in that building. And they have an entire beach full of military-grade vehicles with, you know, stainless steel armor and all this. Missile racks. One of these probably has, like, an, uh, has like a 50 cal... Hey, look at this. It has a missile rack on it. it. Needs to have a turret? No, none of these really have a turret on it. I thought maybe one would have, like, a... <laughs> have, a, like, a bread of 50 on it or something. Anything hiding over here? I feel like they wouldn't add this whole area just to have nothing. Really? Also, is there... Did they put nothing in there? <laughs> they, they have a little tower, and they have no room. Look at that. It's just, it's just empty. 
Let's see if I can jump high enough. Can I get on top of this box to look? Hell yeah, they have nothing in there. That's supposed to be like the little command tower, right? You go in there and they're supposed to be able to look out. Oh, I got up. Yeah, there's nothing really in there. <laughs> this seems like a little bit of a waste of time. Digi D's, we need to test this. Can you swim in Dead Island? Or do you just immediately die? Let's find out. Oh, it's not deep enough. <laughs> Can I go out deep enough that it just kills me? It's a really shallow beach. I didn't think you'd be able to go out this far. Oh, it's not going to let you. See, it drops off like right there. You can see the line almost through the water. Dang it, I wanted to find out if the game was like, nope, your superhero main character can't swim in water like Master Chief. <laughs> the super soldier of the future can't swim. Okay, find a core team corridor. Probably that area over there, yep. Exactly where it's pointing me. Ooh, I don't like that sound. We're probably kinda digging the vibe. And a Halloween sort of way. Right, seems like a like a horror house that you walk into. Override the lockdown somehow. Well, thank you for giving me an exact <laughs> objective location to go somehow override the door controls. Um, it's gonna make me go all the way around again, isn't it? Yep. Okay, run all the way around. Try to pad for its playtime, I suppose. Just make them travel a bit. I mean, you can only design so much, right? Yeah, of course, they got a nice little box for us to jump on top of. Anybody here? Here goes nothing. Yeah, this definitely seems like a battle. You need a code, huh? Of course you fucking do. Right, you need to hit a switch to open the gate, but in order to hit the switch to open the gate, you need to find a code. And I bet to find the code. What you've done with the place. Lockdown protocol, okay. Seems the officer of the day had the code. Ah! <laughs> I was just about to say! I was just about to exactly say that. Last entry was Hang on, okay, last Wednesday. entry Wednesday. I was exactly about to say that. So we need to open the gate, we had to come over here to hit the button. But instead of hitting the button, we have to go find a code. And I knew they were going to do that. I'm like, oh, it's just going to be here on a paper? No. I'm like, okay, we're going to find here that we have to go kill a zombie for the code. It's exactly what it's saying. <laughs> the fella on duty was Hicks. Do any of these dead boys look like a Hicks? I don't know, do they? I'm going to be amazed if it doesn't have me go kill somebody. Dog tags. Not this one. No. 1%? Doesn't look like a hicks to me. Oh my, are you gonna make me go through all these? Not you. I'm getting 1% per. It, it, is he just about to make me go search every single body in this place? Oh boy, you know, I was kind of half joking when I said that they're just padding for game time, but holy shit. <laughs> I hope it's not, hope it's not actually gonna be this difficult to find. Like, I'm just gonna walk over and it's gonna be like some of these first guys here, huh? No? I'm still only 4%. Uh, <laughs> I will be right back, Digitees, I suppose, when we find this. I have 96 other bodies to go find. Be right back, I suppose. <laughs> oh, boy. Just need Hicks's tags now. Hmm. Last seen going for a shite. Class. Oh, there you are, Hicks. I've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Welcome back, Digitees. I, I have finally found Hicks. He was hiding in the <laughs> porta potty. I, I didn't have to search for a hundred bodies. I had to find, it was like maybe like 10 bodies. I found some notes, so it kind of progressed a little bit, but it still took probably like a good 15 minutes just to find Hicks here. Finally, take him out, keep on slashing. Man, I love these claws. They're beautiful, they're effective, and maimed. I don't know how to grab his dog tags around, but let's take a quick look. See, is there anything else I'm missing? Nothing in the porta potty that he came out of. Check a couple of these, nothing really in them. <laughs> instinctually swipe at the soldier sitting in there. It kind of scared me. Grab up those togs. Well, wow. grab up those tags and let's go the through the big old gatey door. Hello? Uh, I'm Danny. You first. This is Warrant Officer Rodriguez. You should turn around, dumbass. That corridor is not secure. How rude. It's your funeral. Out. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, you dry okay, shake. All right, line them up and let's go. Start popping them off. You know, I don't really like. I think I might switch over to the keyboard. Here we go. I I'm doing. 
I have one hand on my left joystick and I'm firing with the mouse on my right joystick or on my <laughs> on my right hand straight up ambidextrous right now <laughs> yeah using the controller in my left hand and just aiming with the right it, it kind of works it, it kind of works I'm, I'm doing both I, I wonder yeah it seems to swipe around real good have you have better control you have better aim I seem to do better this way you know you kind of have better control over it with the mouse while a joystick a, a joystick I kind of feel like has a lot of room for drift not really drift but almost like less leniency you're, I don't know a mouse is a little bit more precise Ooh, what do we have here a nice burst fire carbine let's go ahead and equip this on real quick replace my other assault rifle and it says it's a burst fire does it do like a three shot like an m16 Oh no, this is a double shot, so it does a two burst. It's kind of odd. I can't really think of any firearms that I, at least that I know of, although I'm not an expert on any. I can't really think of any firearms that do a two round burst. Usually a lot of things are a three round burst, or even some are like four round burst, but I've never seen a uh, two burst. And all my knowledge basically just comes from Call of Duty, so I mean, what do I know? <laughs> Back in the good old days. Locker. Yeah, I don't really play COD anymore, though. The gate, that series fell off a long time ago. I say it's a pretty effective gun. I like it. Doing pretty well. Oh, wow. What do they have going on out there? There are hundreds of zombies. Honestly, I would love to just get in there. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's stuck on the keyboard controls. I need to get back to X, 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 X. <laughs> there we go. Because I'm still trying to use both at the same time. It started controlling to saying it was on the keyboard. <laughs> Open fire! I'm out of ammo! No! Shotgun! Blast him away! Dear God! <laughs> Come on, get her, get her, get her! Oh, so close. I hit her. I thought that would have stunned her enough to stop the scream from happening. Yeah, here come all the zombies. Oh, that pipe bomb got all of them. Hell yeah. Come on, come on. The spear does pretty good at keeping them at bay. You know, keeping them far enough away from you. It's kind of the point, though. Fury time, there's enough here. We never get to use this ability, so why not? Slash and gore. Rip and tear. Let's go. The bodies explode afterwards now, too. <laughs> yes. Straight demolish those guys. I like, I like the fury ability. I, I do need to start using it more often. The hell's stopping me right now? Oh, there we are, a shambler. Okay. It's a random one zombie sitting waiting for me. Open sesame. Oh, what? Where did you guys just come from? I just came from there. Where? Where did you come from? There's no way you came from anywhere. <laughs> just spawning in behind me. I see how it is. Well, I'm almost dead. I need to heal. There we go, got a little close. That would have been... Oh, that would have upset me if I died at the last second at the end of the corridor. You want to head through the gate to your right. It's wall to wall up. It's the last chance to turn back. Do not attempt to enter the tower or I'll send a squad to toss your ass out. Huh. Try it. But I'm pretty sure I can take you out. But you know what, DigiDs? Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. Honestly, it has been a real joy. Uh, this has been a long episode and i've had a great time and i'll tell you what even a little bit of a secret this last like six minutes i actually had to do a re-voiceover because all the audio got screwed so if this like last six minutes seems a little bit off for you <laughs> then you know why oh let's not walk into that and lose my kneecaps <laughs> yeah i had to actually redo these last six minutes just a voiceover because all the audio for some reason messed up but uh hopefully it's not too jarring but thank you digitees for showing all your support thank you for subscribing thank you if you haven't had the chance if you find yourself come back to watch more of these videos make sure to subscribe like the video comment down below what you want to see next and overall just thank you digitees i'm still not really sure how to do these outros but thank you from the bottom of my heart and you can force your expect to see you guys and me in the next video Bye bye